Hey, hey. Hey, hey, good morning. We are here in Stockholm, Sweden. And in particular, we're in the old city in Gamlenstad. What are we gonna see here? Well, the first stop is gonna be one of the most narrow streets in the city. And then we're just gonna wander and see what we can see. There's a lot of really cool pubs and bistros and cafes. Um, and definitely some good landmarks to check out in this area. Yeah, let's take a look and see what we can find today. We're, we're walking around and a lot of things are closed. Which, I mean, it's almost 10. No, it is I mean, 10. All of the stores behind us, all the stores in front of us. And as an example, they're not showing us any opening hours. It's all blank. Hmm. Maybe at 11? It is Tuesday. I feel like things should be open. But yeah, maybe Perhaps. at 11. So we'll keep wandering around. Let's take a look. When, if you come out here, maybe come a little bit later in the day. We did it first thing after breakfast and things are kind of closed. Since the shops are closed, we're kind of just walking around and we stumbled on this narrow street. It, well, what's the background on this? It's supposed to be the most narrow street here in Stockholm and it's just very notable. Everybody comes over here and takes pictures. Kind of reminds me of parts of Diagon Alley. I mean, it does get, it does get more and more narrow as you go up. So look, if we look down, and look at my feet. So that's how narrow it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it brings you here. There it is. It's an actual street. Mar Martin's Grand? Yes. Looks like we've got to throw ourselves down this hill to get back to the closed shops. <laughs> Let's say that open at 10. So actually, it's probably better for us to walk this way. Is she watering? One of the places that you should check out when you come to this old town area is this square, Stortorget. We listened to it like five times, Stortor, Stortorget. Gah, I'm not too <laughs> good at terrible. it. But the it Nobel- It's the main square. It's yes. the main square of the city. The Nobel Prize Museum is here. You can come check out. And there's a few other restaurants and bars in the square but I think at the center of it all is this Nobel Prize Museum. But if you've seen any pictures from Stockholm, what you see is this back here. So we have to push back a little bit to see the colors and these buildings, they're beautiful. It's in, on every magnet, it's on every bag. It's very iconic. It looks like there's a tour starting. Oh, yeah. I, I I wonder when things start opening up here because everything. Suggested times. <laughs> the the couple of times that we did see posted said ten, and we pushed on a door. We pulled too, just in case. It wasn't open. There's somebody inside, and they're working. Whatever. They didn't really say anything. <laughs> they were just. There. They didn't look at us. They were like, oh, someone's trying to come through the door? No, not no. yet. I guess we have to burn some time a little bit and then continue journeying around here to see. There's a lot around here, but. And it's easy to get lost, I guess, lost in the sense of just wandering around without much purpose. 
because there's so many streets. It's very grid-like. So it's, it's cool. Lots mm. of walking up and down, so good exercise. I see why people come here early in the morning. There wasn't a lot of people, and when there were a lot of people, they were all just taking pictures in front of like some notable buildings. <laughs> Iconic buildings. I dare you. Go ahead and research Stockholm. See what pictures come up. You will see that it's those buildings right there. But we're coming up to the Royal Palace. Ooh. Oh, how cool. It looks like there's an obelisk. Yes. Gustavus Adolphus. The third and the fourth. So we should be coming up to the Royal Palace and also Stockholm Cathedral, which I don't know if this is it. What do you think? My Swedish is a little rusty. Who's this guy? Frederiki. That looks pretty cool too over there. Mm -hmm. All right. Should we visit the Royal Palace? Yeah, let's go through. There's a sign there. Kungliga Slotet. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even sound right, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> The official reg residence of His Majesty. What did you think of the royal palace? That was neat. So less strict than the one in Spain. You were able to take pictures and videos. Everybody seemed pretty relaxed. I did ask two different questions. <laughs> they didn't really know the answer to my questions, but it was, it was really cool. Some of those rooms, I'm always just impressed with the number of paintings and then also the chandeliers. Yeah. Amazing. It, it was quite extravagant. And we did learn that there are 10 royal palaces what? in use. Uh, across Sweden and owned by the state take with that information as you will but yeah they're throughout the whole country but the majority of them she mentioned were in this region but great experience so if you're in the area at least stop by you do get to see a lot of the history learn about some of the rooms some of the state 
visits this, yeah. that that happened and well and you also learn a lot about their traditions so we in the very few first few rooms they talked a lot about the decorations and the, the order of the, the nights yeah yeah so you, you did get to see some of the orders understand what some of the symbols or pins meant and when they give them out right for foreign visits when they do yeah. great things for sweden so yeah that was always, really cool always a good trip to see a royal palace yeah so if you're looking for time investment this is about an hour and a half maybe two hours work and it's nice because it's indoors yeah that's good too small shop and it is the jubilee year so this is the that's 50th cool. year yes. but we did get a pin for his majesty's of sweden's jubilee yeah so i think the biggest celebrations will begin around september but they start now she mentioned they start in march uh with doing different parades good stuff be on the lookout along our way we passed by the stockholm cathedral which right now the exterior is being renovated but do not let that deter you from going in because my gosh it was beautiful Oh, look, this is how you say it. I don't even want to attempt it. Okay. Storkirkan? Storkirkan? Maybe? But really, you walk in and you do have to pay. And the reason they say you have to pay is because their parish is very small, uh, but the number of visitors is quite extensive and of course in order to maintain it and do all of the, the renovations to it they depend on visitors donating so i thought it was a pretty fair amount how much did you pay remember mm. i think it was 140 for both of us yeah i think it came up to 300 corona somewhere around 15 us dollars yes. so not bad at all and one of my favorite things in there was the slaying of the dragon by saint george that's quite a story, you guys. Have you ever heard of that story? I, I don't know if I buy it, but I guess that's part of faith, it's, right? It's figurative. Yeah, but very beautiful inside. The altar um, is all black, and there was, uh, there was some interesting personalities, I guess, buried there. Yeah, so far, great exploring here yeah. in Stockholm. Oh, look, check this out. This is another popular spot to come take pictures at. I need to find out what it is. But this little guy right here, this green thing. What do you think it is? A telephone booth? <laughs> it's cool though. Now that it's past 12, we came back to the same street that we started in and Oh, it is much busier. There's a lot of people out now. The shops are definitely open. So this looks like the time. So come around noon and you can visit the shops. Is it time for hot chocolate? A they churros? Have Belgian hot chocolate. Churros. Spanish churros. Yes, I see people coming in and out of stores. Yeah, time. now now is the time. Thankfully, you got to see all of these places without the people. So you can see what is on offer here. Looks like a lot of people pet the pup. <laughs> is that a guard pup? Yeah. So we're going to walk through some of these stores, see what we can find. Maybe go into the Happy Sock store, see yes. if we can get a Swedish And I think I, think I need a scarf. What do you guys think? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Well, that was Gamla Stan. Yes! And look, I got my scarf. I don't know if you can see it, but it has elk on them. We thought it was moose. <laughs> it's elk. We've been corrected since. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. It's a really cool area. Definitely, you have to come visit it if you're here in Stockholm. And we even stopped for a little bit of lunch, right? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was just a little sandwich and some coffee. Pretty standard. But 
yeah plenty more to see so make sure you come back or continue watching this series and we'll see you in the next one bye